All right, hey everybody, welcome to Down Home Backyard Gardening. A friend of mine sent me a TikTok, I think it was back in November, of an idea for a strawberry bed. Bed. That just kind of blew me away. And I've thought about it and thought about it. And with all the other projects that I had going on and getting ready for spring and everything, I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go for this and do it. So <laughs> let's get ready for this one. Let's grow. So as my thumbnail shows, we are going to put up a rain gutter strawberry bed bed i'm kind of excited for this whether it works or not i don't know i don't see why it wouldn't work but i thought you know what i do everything on this channel by the seat of my pants so let's have some fun with this right so i went to home depot yesterday or the day before and i got this rain gutter it's a 10 foot rain gutter i got eight of these little supports and then you want to make sure you don't forget the end caps because walked out without the end caps so <laughs> don't forget the end caps right so from everything i can think of this is going to be pretty simple we're going to draw drill a bunch of holes down the bottom of this for water drainage we're going to get this anchored up on the fence we're going to fill it with soil get the strawberries put in sit back and relax and hope they grow first thing though why do this system right here the idea well, really took root so to speak um because i have a limited backyard and if i can grow things up on the fence where it's not affecting any of the actual raised beds, then why not try it, right? Might as well give it a shot. If it fails, it fails, and you all will see the failure. If it succeeds, then hey, you're gonna see the success. So, let's do this. First thing we're gonna do, drill holes. Okay, holes are drilled. Now we're gonna start getting this thing anchored up on the fence line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna anchor them into these two by fours that run along the fence all the way down. I think obviously by anchoring them into the two by fours, I can get good depth with the screws, but I'm worried that these anchors aren't gonna really be able to hold the weight of this rain gutter once I put the soil in. So we're gonna put brackets up underneath the rain gutter just to help take the weight off of these little, off of these plastic brackets. Sure it'll work, I don't see why it wouldn't, but again, it's all trial and error. All trial and error. Just like that, it's in. We got it secured to the fence line. And this is really, really pretty pretty stable I think I'm only gonna put three brackets up underneath when original is going to put I think five or six so and again you know it's it seems good and stable but I also don't have all the dirt or the soil in here yet and that makes me nervous so I'm definitely gonna put a bracket at least right there and at least right here for sure and then probably one somewhere in the middle. But yeah, this has been very easy. I really thought this would be more complicated, but I'm very happy it's not. <laughs> so all I got is this L-shaped bracket here, some washers, a good solid screw, and we're gonna get it put in the wall here. And again, this is just to give added support to the weight of the soil. And I could probably use this to hang something right there. Actually, you know what, I think I'm just gonna leave it at these two brackets. And if it starts to droop in the middle, then I'll throw a third one on there. But I don't think it's going to. I really think this is good and strong. So now it's just time to get the soil in here. And, uh, then get the strawberries planted. All right, so the rain gutter is up. The strawberry rain gutter bed is up. I think it looks pretty good. Y'all tell me what you think. It's a little curved right down here, kind of canted in, but that's all right. This is gardening, it's not rocket science. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to do its job. Last so. thing to do is plant the strawberries. So let's do that. All 
right, everybody, and that's it. It's all done. I've got three different types of strawberries planted up there, and we're gonna see which one grows best for this area, zone 9A. I'm not sure, but I'm guessing it is probably going to be this one right here, this Ozark Beauty. Um, it's just a gun, it's just a hunch, not really sure. Uh, not really sure, but we'll see. So from the time I started this video until right now, it's been 24 minutes. That's all it took to get that up there on the fence. Secured, filled, ready to go. Now the only thing I have left to do is water, of course. Gotta water. I have a very limited space here in this garden. And if this is a, is a success, then I'm gonna put these up everywhere for other things too, herbs and things of that nature. So I'm excited to see how this goes. If you, if you learned anything from this video, please share the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Drop some comments down below. What do you think this is gonna work, not work? I'm crazy. Uh, I'm a genius. I'm not a genius. <laughs> no. Oh, I got everyone. So until next time, take care, God bless. Talk to you again real soon. We're gonna get this thing up on the up on the. Uh, we're gonna get this anchored up on the. All right, everybody, and that's it. Now, <laughs> I didn't have the camera on apparently when I was filling that up with soil, but probably didn't really need the camera on for that. So, uh, no big deal there. But that's